So what is all this that I hear about um, money is the root to all evil? No. In the word, it says that the love of money is the root to all evil because God doesn't want you to love anything more than him. So that's money. But God did not say that he does not want to make you prosperous and abundant. First of all, first of all, get this straight. He made Abraham wealthy. That was his promise to Abraham to give him all this land and to give him silver and gold. It is in the word. It is our divine promise. And if it was Abraham's divine promise, it was our divine promise too. So in Genesis 13, 2, verse 2, Genesis 13, verse 2, and in Genesis 12, verse 7, the Lord says to Abraham, leave your country, your people, and your father's household and go to the land I will show you. He gave him land. He gave him land, okay? God did that for a reason because he wanted to show people, I want you to have what I want you to have. I want you to have it all. Brand new socks and drawers. I want you to not be poor. I want you to be what I want you to be. See, that's the thing. When we start searching after this world and we start to do the things that the devil wants us to do, we get confused and we forget about God. So that's the whole reason why God uses Abraham as an example of this is a wealthy man. He did what I told him to do. He did what I wanted him to do. And now he gets what I want him to have, period. And if God did it for Abraham, he will do it for you. That's how the Bible is. It's just examples. So do not be deceived. Do not get the word misconstrued. Read it. Ask God, what does this mean? And God will reveal it to you. I used to think all wrong because people would tell me these scriptures and they didn't even interpret it right. They wasn't even reading it right. They would tell me a scripture and not tell me what went before it and went after, what went after it. It would just be a scripture. And then it would be a scripture that would make me so scared that I wouldn't even want to look at the Bible because I'm just looking at it like a disappointment and a judgment and nothing good. And But whether it's good or it's bad, it's God. So it's always good. Amen. I love you and I'll be back with another word. Stay blessed and stay faithful.